What's up ESM? I'm Elena. Many of you probably know or at least heard that fancy protein powders and bars have been all the rage lately. Today I'll be showing you the best brands out there that are great tasting and good for you. First let's take a look at our headline stories. Good morning ESM. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. Tuesday, federal authorities called for a hold on further distribution for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine after six developed a rare disorder involving blood clots within about two weeks of vaccination. All of the women are between the ages of 18 and 48. One woman has died and one woman in Nebraska is currently hospitalized in critical condition. At this time, about 7 million people in the U.S. have received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and about 9 million doses have been distributed. We are recommending a pause in the use of this vaccine out of an abundance of caption. Dr. Peter Marks, Director of the Food and Drug Administration Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research, and Dr. Ann, Principal Deputy Director of the CDC, said in joint statement, right now these adverse events appear to be extremely rare. At this time, scientists with the FDA and CDC will examine the possible link between the vaccine and the disorder jointly. An outside advisory committee is set to meet Wednesday. The pa this pause, however, will certainly cause complications as the nation pushes to increase vaccination rates to curb the recent surge in several states. Japan's government has decided to release radioactive water after the wreckage of the Fukushima, Fukushima nuclear plant. Fishers and sailors are strongly opposed to this idea as the residents of Japanese islands. The government has been holding this off because several protests from Japanese citizens, but the decision was made to release the water which has been stored in tanks since 2011. According to the chairman, most of the chemicals will be able to be removed from the water in due course. In Knoxville, Tennessee, there was a shooting that resulted with one student dead and an officer injured. The shooting occurred at Austin East Magnet High School and two responding officers found the shooter to be a student. Police say the student reportedly fired shots and shot an officer in the leg. However, they feel as though the student wasn't going to use it until the officers engaged him. The injured officer and dead student were not identified. Authorities have claimed they detained another person for further ex investigation, excuse me, but they are most likely a witness. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Class is hosting a Sweet Frog fundraiser on Wednesday, April 14th from 12 to 9 p.m. at the Fayetteville Town Center location. Show the flyer and mention your support to the cashier for ESM credit. Looking forward to seeing you there. Seniors, we need your photos. Submit your photographs through Saturday, May 1st at 4 p.m. Photographs must be submitted to the following email address to be included in the slideshow. The email is cvsem21 -E at gmail.com. Along with your first and last name and submit as many photographs as you want. Reminders, there is rehearsal this week, Tuesday, April 13th from 6 to 7.30 in person, Wednesday, April 14th, 6, 6.30 to 8 virtual, Thursday, April 15th, 3.40 to 5 in person, and check the CVS classroom for more details. Also, join the classroom code JKD6CNU. You might, uh, you might want to double check that code. All right, so starting off with protein powders, one of the main ingredients in most protein powders is whey protein. Whey protein is a mix of liquids made from whey, which are fast digesting proteins found in food like milk, cheese, and yogurt. It's consumed that teens get about 8 grams of protein for every pound of body weight. So I ranked my top three must-have protein powders. First up we have, now this is the OG of protein powders, one of my favorites. This is Ghost. This has 0 grams of sugar and 25 grams of protein, and it comes in flavors like blueberry toaster pastry and fruity cereal milk. Next up, my second choice is Gold Standard 100% Whey Protein. This has 1 gram of sugar and 24 grams of protein, and this comes in a variety of flavors from cake donut to key lime pie. Another thing I like about this one is it contains branch chain amino acids, which are shown to reduce exercise fatigue and muscle soreness. 
Last but not least, we have a Garden of Life protein powder, which is vegan and vegetarian. This has 22 grams of protein and zero sugar, and this is another one of my favorites. After weather, I'll be ranking my top three must-have protein bars. Today looks to be a lot nicer than yesterday with warmer temperatures um, and a high in the low to mid 60s and intervals of sun developing throughout the day. Tomorrow will be um, mostly sunny with clouds mixing in towards the afternoon. It will be mostly dry with a slight risk of a shower towards the evening and a high in the low to mid 60s. Thursday uh, is a chance of chilly rain just like we had yesterday with highs near 50. Friday will be mostly cloudy and still cool with some lingering showers left over from Thursday. There's going to be some wet snow mixes in the higher elevations east of Syracuse uh, in the morning and highs are going to be around 50 again. Saturday we'll see a pretty even mix of clouds and sun with more sun than clouds and it's going to be mild with highs near 60. Sunday we'll see more clouds and a possible shower or two towards the afternoon and high near 60. And then Monday, we're going to see some more clouds, so it's going to be mo mostly cloudy with cooler temperatures, possibly some rain, and highs near 60. And I'm Allie with your weather. So now protein shakes are very popular among athletes, and one thing that's hard to find with protein bars is that they have a lot of sugar compared to the powders. So I rank my top three protein bars. So this is my third choice. We have RX bars. These are only made with the ingredients listed on the package and they taste great while still being low in sugar. Next up, this flavor for Kind Bars is my favorite. These are Kind Bars and they taste like you're eating dessert while still being considered healthy and they have, gotta find it, it says the sugar on here, seven grams of sugar. And after sports, I'll share my number one protein bar. The boys volleyball team is playing at Nottingham and the girls volleyball team plays at Oswego on Wednesday. The girls volleyball team lost three to one at Cortland. And with that, I'm John, with sports. Okay, so finally we have my number one choice for protein bars. You ready? Oh, it's Cliff Bars. Now these bars are high in sugar, but for any athlete doing an exercise or workout for a long period of time, these aren't going to hurt you, and they're very filling and they taste great. So ESM, I hope you take my advice for buying these great bars and protein powders. And from me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have an amazing day.